This is a small puzzle box, very similar to something we saw at the Minneapolis St. Paul Mini Maker Fair in 2016. Um, Mike Snyder was displaying something similar to this, and after we saw it, we did a little Google search and we found that there was plans for a similar item on craftsmanspace.com. Uh, you place a nickel inside, uh, close the, the lid, and then it becomes apparent that it's not able to open the same way that it was closed. Um, there's something blocking it from, from opening. So the solution to this is that there's actually a ball inside preventing the, the lid from opening. And the way to get that ball out of the way is to close the lid, flip the puzzle upside down, and then open the lid slightly and then they can be turned over and then the middle section is free to move in and out. And that ball can be a variety of sizes and, and I've provided models for a couple of different size balls. The standard beads are eight, six, and four millimeters. Uh, on the far right here you see a, a white bead and that one is actually a molded hot glue bead and what that does is it it prevents the the bead from making a noise when the when the lid is shut. And if you listen here the bead does not make a noise if it's made out of hot glue um, and that helps prevent the giveaway of the bead dropping the noise from the bead dropping. Here's a little video of showing how I made the, the hot glue bead. Uh, there's two, two sides to the mold, they're, they're identical. Um, I spray a little bit of silicone lubricant as a mold release and then inject a little bit of hot glue into each side and then squeeze the two halves together. And there's a, a ring of space on the outside of the, the actual ball mold and that's there to allow the excess glue to flow out. After that's clamped together we can let it sit for a little bit and come back after a few minutes and, and remove the ball. The hot glue balls are pretty soft so when when you're using them there's a little more play in the in the mechanism but it's it should be large enough the mold that I provide should be large enough for a four millimeter uh, bead size puzzle to prevent it from opening and here we see the puzzle assembly process and it shows a little more clearly where the where the bead goes um, or the little ball um, the ball that I'm using in this assembly portion of the video is a 6mm ball.